A quote that has lately been stuck in my head is Dreams are the seeds of change. Nothing ever grows without a seed and nothing ever changes without a dream. When I heard those words, I first thought of all of the big dreams that I had for years, but the feeling of being stuck just wouldn't go away. So how can I find a way to make that seed actually grow? My last days of 2022 were a blast. Meeting all of my old friends, reconnecting with my family, recharging old batteries for a new and better 2023. I had so many plans on changing up my life for the new year and finally strive towards my dreams and goals. But unfortunately, there is this huge gap between the person we are and the person we wholeheartedly want to be. It is hard to become a different person out of nowhere. So the first few weeks of 2023 started to fall into the same old habits and same old routines I always had. Or worse, with all of the plans from New Year's Eve, the guilt started to creep in more than it usually did, worsening the cycle as a whole. My sleeping schedule is messed up as hell. I can't anymore. It's like not funny anymore. It's not funny anymore. Since New Year's Eve, I feel like this is a common problem for people because that's the time where everybody messes up their sleeping schedule. But for some reason, it's like in the middle of January and I still haven't fixed it. I found out that it might be because of social media and TikTok. So I'm just going on my phone and then I don't like notice how much time I laid in bed doing nothing. So I just keep scrolling till I get tired and finally like doze off and also my self-care is lacking something because like in the for the past few weeks i've been just waking up and having the same old clothes on either from sleeping or when i have the energy to put on clothes it's like every time the same outfit it's like all black i get not ready for the day i don't get unready for the day it feels like i'm just walking out of bed and then straight into bed so for the past few months i haven't created at all and i feel like i'm stuck in an art block phase again i just i have three sketchbooks and three journals i just don't know why i should pick them up but i also know if i don't create in a long time it gets lost and I don't create at all and I really need more and more motivation the more time passes so I don't want to get to that point I feel like I have to start now which creates more pressure and it's like a cycle and I don't know how to get out of it we as humans don't like feeling guilty about ourselves so we are always waiting for something bad to happen to finally make the decision to change ourselves it's often some external source some sort of breakup or loss maybe a fight or failing an important exam or a job opportunity. But when you don't have this initial event to start your changing journey, it becomes hard to find the motivation to change. What holds us back the most is fear. Because I know as soon as I like try to close my eyes and sleep and it does not work out, my brain starts to panic. Now you only have like five hours left, you're gonna be so tired. And going to the gym is another problem because when I went back home and returned here, like I haven't been there ever since and it's terrifying to start again. Every time I pick that up, I'm like, I'm so afraid to ruin it. I always think of the worst way a situation can turn out. In fact, many people do this. Having this fear of failure, fear of getting rejected, fear of disappointing yourself or somebody else. And that's why starting to change is so hard. Because whenever something doesn't turn out the way we want and our fears get real, we use this to reaffirm ourselves that change is impossible. It will never work out, right? If we set our expectations not to succeed, we get the safety of not getting rejected or disappointed. And for some reason the gym is so near, I just don't feel like going. What if it's gonna be full or all of my workouts won't be possible because there are so many people and everything is occupied and I can't use anything, right? Which is mostly true, but I could also go to another time. It's not that big of a deal and I have to convince myself of that because it, I'm just stuck in this useless mindset of mine. I feel like it's different when you're filming your process like I do in this video. I feel like people want to see what I'm sketching but I don't want to show because I'm not in the mood to create the sketches I usually would and I don't feel like it. So it is important to get out of the self-sabotaging mindset and stop waiting for some event to change us. To stop looking at outer sources, it's not always some people that hinder us from changing or some experiences that made us unchangeable in the past. The own thoughts and feelings are what changes the outcome of life. 
because our thoughts turn into our own actions once we truly believe what we think, so it is important to be conscious of that. Finding the motivation to make a change in your life can be challenging, especially if you're feeling stuck in a rut. One way that helps me is to identify the things that are holding me back and then work on addressing those issues. This could be anything from negative thoughts and beliefs to a lack of support of resources. Making a list helps to visualize your thoughts and values and you can always add more to it if you want. Try to think of the best version of yourself, somewhere in the future. How would this person look like? What has this person achieved? What kind of friendships or relationships has this person? What is this person really good at? What are the highest skills? How does the day of this person look like? Think of every detail this person would do and write it down. This can take a lot of time because you might always think of more and more things to add. Don't be afraid of adding too much. Think big. If you have trouble to think that way, you can also focus on things that this person does not do, how the day does not look like, everything that helps you to build this image of your highest self. Trying to overhaul the entire life at once can be overwhelming and lead to burnout and frustration. Instead, I'm trying to focus on one small change at a time to make it part of my daily routine. Routines are small actions we do in the same way, again and again, over and over, mostly at the same time of the day because they worked out for us and our brain understood that the result is something that helps us in the long run. So I decided to delete TikTok and start reading instead. I read a lot in the past and my eyes got tired of this shit, so <laughs> maybe that will work. I feel like I still have some books left, I just have to find them. So I'm thinking of strategies to make me go to the gym and not just procrastinate with it. So I thought of uh, doing my stretching, stretching sessions in the morning that way because then I'm already like in my sporty outfit and I can just go to the gym anyways and if I don't want to go I at least stretched you know I thought about implementing sketching and journaling into my life and for some reason I find it so hard to do that aside from each other so I just want to combine these two things so I just try to think it that way that it's not my sketchbook it's my journal where I add sketches inside and not the other way around I know it's kind of the same but they help me to get loose and to have this like five minutes a day where I just sketch something and get out of my comfort zone and uh, not fall into this long period of time of not sketching at all and it helps me so much and whenever the time comes maybe I get an idea for something bigger for something more interesting for something that I can put my whole effort into. Routines that are repeated over and over again can turn into habits. Habits are basically just a sequence of actions that we do automatically without having to motivate or remind ourselves to do them. So I am breaking down my goals in separate and simple actions, so it's more manageable for me and I feel rewarded more easily, having more motivation to strive onwards. Okay, so I have read that you need 20 to 200 days for a habit to become part of your routine. And I'm just like devastated. I'm, I'm just hoping that I'm one of those 20 day people because no way I can keep up with it for, I don't know, half a year. I should think something like, yeah, if this is part of my routine, every day is gonna be great and I'm gonna be that person I wanna be. Um, and not like putting myself down before I even started. To help yourself with constructing your own habits, you can add triggers into your life. That remind your brain and make it easier for you to start doing things automatically. We actually have a lot of negative triggers like leaving our phone by the bed so we automatically grab it when we wake up and that's how most of our bad habits start. So why not change them into something we want to trigger, like creating a visual cue or preparing the things you need beforehand for the next day. Something I thought about is like skincare, like on some random day I just started doing it and now it's like part of my routine and it's not that big of a deal to do it and I remember it like brushing my teeth. So maybe I just have to start and do it over and over and over again because that wasn't that big of a deal with that skincare routine. I can do anything. Starting is usually easy. We have so much motivation to change but the hard part is to keep this motivation up. But motivation is something that comes and goes so it's not just the motivation itself that we have to rely on. It's better to convince ourselves that the thing we try to do is actually fun, something we feel rewarded after and is not that big of a deal to start. So I'm trying to design my tasks as fun as possible to me. 
I always question myself, what can I add to my task to actually enjoy the process? I also tricked myself because I have an audiobook that I only listen to when I go to the gym, so I want to go to the gym to know how the story continues, and I only listen it on the treadmill because uh, that's when I have to go at least like half an hour, so it's it's often boring. But with that audiobook, it's not that boring anymore. So I want to go today because I'm in a very interesting part right now. <laughs> So every time I sketched, I rather filmed it or had some show or YouTube video running in the background and I felt that this was a bit distracting me from whatever I was doing or trying to sketch. So I'm now trying to just focus myself on some music and make like different moody playlists for whatever I'm drawing that day. I'm just trying to be more present with it and focus myself more. If I miss one day, I try not to fall into the same mindset of spiraling down. It's not always all or nothing. Start trusting your own judgment. Start rewarding yourself for your accomplishments, how little they might be.